Breath of Freedom was a piece that was, um, well, it started out with Judge Gerkel, who was our federal court judge here in Charleston, asked me if I would just do a small sketch to be on a program for the um, Judge Waitis Waring uh, statue that was placed at our uh, federal courthouse here in Charleston. And knowing of the history of Judge Waitis Waring, I wanted to do something that was ceremonial, memorable, including of the people and the place. So in that painting, you will see the flag of Port Royal, South Carolina, which is a city near where I live. And at that time, the mayor of Port Royal was Mr. Samuel Murray, who was my fifth grade teacher. So I wanted to have some connection to that. And I wanted to have connections of the people that that whole movement was really for and about their, uh, the opportunity for them to have equal education. And so in the painting, many, many of the people are African-American people. And they're gathered outside of the courthouse. And in the, uh, the window is uh, Judge Thurgood Marshall. And, uh, and then there's Judge Waring. And uh, then there's the bailiff. And in, in a particular image of Judge Wade is wearing is his bailiff who was African-American. So that was very important. And it was important just to get a sense of the, the crowds of people that showed up for that event. Um, how do you think Judge Waring and others in this movement, especially in the Low Country, have affected your arts and your community? Well, Judge Wade is wearing for this generation and for of my generation forward. We're not really that familiar with Judge Wade is wearing, and it was my hope to bring him more visually prominent from the perspective of people from the low country. Uh, and, and, and he was a man, unfortunately, because he wanted to protect, to protect children and to ensure that they all had access to transportation to get to school, they had access to equal education, and I just wanted to make him a special hero.